Well, helping people understand Milwaukee's Muslim community, that's what the good people at the Islamic Resource Center in Greenfield are doing. Cassandra McShepard joins us now to talk more about this place and their mission. That's right, Steve. You know, it's an opportunity for people of all backgrounds to get to know our Muslim community and dispel the myths and stereotypes. Here's how they do that. We have a variety of different programs and projects that take place here in the center. We have uh, book clubs that meet here. We run children's reading programs. We have a host of events and programs for immigrants and for refugees, particularly for women. Of course, you know, our services are open to anyone in the city that, um, that is interested. But uh, we have a special expertise with immigrants and refugees and women, particularly of um, Muslim background. We often have individuals that might have limited English skills, at times may not be so familiar with cultural practices in the United States, and sometimes, um, you know, at work, at school, wherever it is, they might be encountering some types of bias or racism, and so uh, we're here to really help. We host the first Islamic public lending library in Wisconsin. We get quite a number of people that come in. Our book clubs are very popular. In fact, the majority of people that participate in our book clubs are not Muslim. It's also a cultural center, and so the idea is so that people can come in and just immerse themselves and get an idea of some of the beautiful Islamic art that is widely known throughout the world, but not always known here in the United States. One of the items that we have is the Braille Quran. It comes in uh, six sections. It's something that's very unique that uh, many people have not seen here. We wanted just to create an opportunity for people to get to know the Muslim community, get to know um, Muslim art, understand Muslim beliefs and practices and issues that are of importance to us. We see ourselves as kind of building those bridges and creating those connections and helping people to really get to know a community that is often misunderstood. It's good timing paying them a visit because this is a particularly holy time of year for the Muslim faith. It absolutely is. And there's just, again, as Janine was talking about, so much misunderstanding about our Muslim community. So it's really cool. Beautiful people, great place. We'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Yes.